we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Right, Herb Dean, third man in the right. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here's the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Check that kick as well. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickbox. Beautiful hook in close, staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. The natural born killer gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Fast pace here in the early going. Deep boys are going at it. job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, if you're the boxer, maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. So as he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful. And it shows how hard they work in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for him to jump out in front. Three minutes now to go in this one. Condit gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Well, not much set up behind it, the right hook misses. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Lance a jab. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, and now a left hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful defense, nice block. Hands up. Hands up. Two minutes to go. Pretty good jab there by Choi. To the body in Atlantis. The natural born killer gets hit by that leg kick. Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Lands the overhand right. Another big shot to the head. Beautiful kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Trying the flying knee there. One minute now to go in round one. All right, 
right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Swing and a miss by Shore. 30 seconds now to go in round one. He looked for that knee. Fifteen seconds to go. Hook to the head there by Choi. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, and he caught the kick. Right. Second round, straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that he presents to him. Oh, nice inside kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious move right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Condit's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Misses with the right hand. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Don't wait. You hit him first. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just misses with that one. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big. Wow, another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he's showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing 
you got to try to find a way to stop this. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, until his opponent adjusts. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Big elbow! Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Good run. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut Ready, on the bridge of his nose. Ready. Third round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left. That's a good right hand right there. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice kick. Get your space back. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Great punch. Shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Oh, yeah, you see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks and... I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here or what? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes.
strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Hands high, hands high. Condit's eye now closing up. Nice job. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. And that's that is danger in the engagement there. Choi's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Superman punch now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on them by blocking all these attacks. Condit's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Choi's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, and that'll do it. 15 oh, minutes stop, in the stop, books. Stop. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Stupid. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. I'm just Ready. saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five, five-minute rounds. Effective jab there by Condon. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Checks the leg kick. It's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Oh, how good is that kick? Both guys appear to land there. Big shot to the head. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the right side position come in here to try to stop the fight. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by short. Fighter blocks a punch. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. A hook to the head by Choi. Well, it looks like Condit's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Just over three minutes to go. 
Oh, big left hand there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Condit. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. Now you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Choi's really having a hard time putting weight on that leg. Now you can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. He's got to start throwing down. Big right here. Landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Condit going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kick. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. Massive, massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Choi's in the stack guard now. Could be some serious trouble for the opposition. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. And now he's inside the tour. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position might have to intervene soon. Oh, good block there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Johnson getting the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round. Straight punch is true. Straight to the body by Connor. Nice punch, man. Looks like Condit's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled, it is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice jab there by Choi. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Condit 
an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye at the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, it looks like Condit's left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a storyline that continues as this fight rolls on. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. This beautiful shot lands to the leg. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand on it. And kick there as his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Condit's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position. There it is. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, big, big shots here. Continuing to stay. Oh, huge elbow. That'll do it. Boo-hoo-joy. What a fight. What a fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight.